So I'm going to be going over how you can set stop losses on Coinbase Pro and why this is important to lock in profits. Now, I've currently got around 11,000 in my Coinbase Pro account. That's really just for trading. And then in Coinbase, I've got right around like 41,000. That's kind of like my long-term holdings. Now, Coinbase Pro is really just meant for trading. Um, so, you know, if you're trying to like swing trade and buy a crypto, um, you know, using stop losses is extremely important. Now, I'm going to do an example here. We're going to use Ethereum because I've kind of like been buying and selling this a lot lately. But let's say, for example, you know, maybe you put, um, you know, a thousand bucks into Ethereum right around like thirteen hundred and twenty dollars. But you're not really sure if it's going to go up or down and you don't want to lose all your money. So what you could do here is you could put a stop price in and you could set this at like thirteen hundred bucks. That way, in case Ethereum starts to go down, um, basically what would happen here is that when you set this, uh, it's going to automatically sell for you. So the order will fill after you've you know typed in the stop price, which I put in at thirteen hundred, and then you know um, once you click place sell order, it's going to do it automatically for you. Now, if the price of Ethereum started to go up, um, you could readjust the stop loss price, and you know. Each time it starts to go up a little bit, you can keep changing this, and then that way you could, you know, lock in more profits, um, you know, over time. And uh, it's just a smart thing. It'll really help increase your gains. Plus, it's not like most of us can check these prices like every, you know, single uh, thirty minutes or every, you know, ten minutes because crypto is volatile. And I think using stop losses is really important, especially if you're thinking about like you know, maybe day trading, swing trading crypto. Now you can see I've been buying and selling Ethereum quite a bit. I've actually made some good profit on it lately, um, you know, kind of swing trading it. And I've been using stop losses to do this. And that's why it's important. If you guys have any questions about stop losses, feel free to message me below in the comments. Um, also, if you could smash the like button uh, on this video, I would definitely appreciate it. Now that we kind of covered stop losses, I did want to cover three different crypto coins I think would be good to get into right now. This is in financial advice, but I really think Ethereum is going to, you know, break its all-time high, get over $2,000. A lot of people think it right now, and, you know, I'm one of those people. So I do own a good amount of this right now, and uh, I do think it's a good one. If you're getting anywhere between, like, 1000 and maybe, like, under 1300 I think it's a good long-term hold. And then Polkadot, you know, I was talking about this uh, coin. I said it was a really good buy when it was under $10 recently. Uh, however, it's gone up quite a bit. It's at 16 I don't really think that's a big deal. I think this coin could easily get up to fifty dollars, uh, no problem. So I think Polka Dot, AK Dot, is another co good coin to you know probably look into. Then the last one, and uh, it's a little bit of a newer one, but there is so much hype around it. The Grav GRT. Now this coin is being compared to the Google of crypto coins. It indexes different blockchains, and um, yeah, that's that's it's kind of like the search engine for crypto. You know what I mean? So uh, check that one out. Learn a little bit about it. But um, yeah, anyways, just wanted to kind of cover like the importance of using stop losses, especially if you plan on like buying and selling pretty frequently. Okay, uh, if you guys could smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more crypto content, and we'll see you in the next one.